What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Here is another organization video. This is going to be a very simple, very simple video. We are going to be organizing my fridge and freezer. As you can see, my fridge is empty and I have things on the counter. I have over there what I going to, that I did grocery shopping, I'm sorry, the new stuff that are going inside my freezer and then the one on your left that I showed before it's gonna be the old things that I had in my freezer. So before we do anything to the freezer, um, add stuff, the first thing you gotta do is remove everything from your freezer and start like finding like the bags that only have like one or two things inside and just remove it and then you get more space. And yeah, while I was doing this video, I was also cooking, my family was here, my husband was talking, so you'll see me a little distracted, but I got the job done. So I threw away like I would say 50% of the stuff and it made more space for me to work with. So here you have, I have in that bag like four different nuggets and I just opened one of the new bags and put it there. My freezer is very small for everything we have. We're um, probably thinking of investing in a, freezer, a small freezer for outside the garage so my freezer doesn't look so packed. Um, this is a video where you're just organized what you, with what you have. You can go out and buy um, things to organize, like especially take things out of the bags. I've seen people take things out of the bags, but since I'm just doing with what I have, um, that's what I'm going to be showing you here. Just kind of like, this is just like playing, playing Tetris, kind of making it work for you, like how to put boxes that work for you and save up space. Like I said, there's people who have containers and they take like, the things out of those boxes especially like the mozzarella sticks i would say or those maduros or the french fries and they dump it into containers so it kind of looks a little bit more aesthetic cohesive and a little bit more spacious but this is just simple organize it with what you have and make it work with what you have so i decided to put meat on like a shelf that it's like mostly like accessible as you can see like that's where I have all my meats chicken uh, pork everything else and then on the top um, shelf I normally take all the pancakes from the big box it kind of gives me more space and then on the side of the fridge the freezer I like to put like the extra little bags of stuff so I use that on the on the door of the freezer and I was not aware that it cut so fast but yeah that's what I do on the door of the freezer then I do the same thing with the fridge. I move on to the fridge and I empty out everything that I have from the fridge. Let me tell you, I had things in this fridge that expired back in December. Like, it was crazy. So I normally like to organize my freezer and my fridge and my pantry when I do grocery shopping. Like, I see what I have and if, if it's old, stale, and expired, I toss out. So here I'm just taking everything out of the freezer. I'm taking out of everything out of the fridge and then I'm wiping it down just to make sure that there's no like um, food residue or anything like that. Now, like I said, no, some people like to go out and buy um, like containers to make it look very cohesive and aesthetically pleasing. Um, I could do that, but like I said, I'm just going to make it work with what I have and so can you. It's just about learning how to place things. I like to stack up my freezer with juice boxes, as you can see, for my kids, and as well soda. I know soda is bad, but I have a obsession with soda, and I will always have soda in my house. And I like to buy the little mini cans because they save money. And when you open like the lid, the the liter, the liter, whatever, however you say it, it just goes to waste quick. Then I use a little small container to put like the Jello for my son. That I like doing in the freezer, in the fridge, because it looks nice, and at the same time, I can see what I have. When I have something in account in the in the pouches that it come in, it doesn't let me see if there's any leftovers, if I have anything left. So what I like to do on the door of the fridge is I like to put the things that we normally use on an everyday basis. So that will be my half and half things that I use for cooking my um like my my mayo and then i have a a drawer that i put like all the cold cuts then in that middle 
shelf right there. I like to put all the milks that we have and um, some of the juices. I like to put it there and just kind of have it accessible for the kids pretty much when it comes to juices. And there's my little one drinking water. Sorry. I was not aware that he was in the shop. Anyways, so I move on to the door of the fridge and I just go with the flow. Like I said, I just look at the freezer and, and fridge, I'm sorry, and see what works and what doesn't. So in here, I'm just putting some extras on the bottom. I have my sodas there, some juice and whatnot. And then I move on to those drawers for the produce. Um, normally, all I have is pretty much like red peppers, green peppers, onions, and that's it. And then I just place them in a little clear bowl just to see what I have and not let them go stale or let them get rotten. And that's it guys, that's all I do. As you can see, very simple, very easy to do. Nothing like out of the extraordinary, just toss away any expired food and then just kind of like work with what you have. Again, you can buy containers to organize everything, but this is just pretty much just a very simple, very fast, organized, clean out your fridge. And I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to thumbs up.